silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, Tender and mine, sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Well, did you enjoy that? You know what? I can't believe I sang that without crying. That must be what you guys have come to mean to me. Okay, I know the lighting is weird, but it's because I cut the bright lights off, you guys, so that you can see the little Eiffel Tower sparkling and my little Christmas tree is on. And you, I know that's a little harder to see the Nativity family, Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus. Um... But I just wanted y'all to be able to see the little peak lights, too. I mean, come on. It's so cute. Okay. How y'all doing? In my last video, I talked about a little something. I'm going to reiterate it real quick before we get started. And that is, I have a girlfriend who I work with. And she started a little um, newsletter on the side. And y'all, it is phenomenal. And it is about restaurants and she knows everything she knows the proprietor she knows where the bathrooms are she knows if they're clean or dirty she knows if you've been sleeping she knows if you're awake she knows if you've been bad or good excuse me <clears throat> i got a little excited there my my well you if you don't really like them once you've had up to three of them you could just use them as a beautiful fan but you will like them. It's called morsel. Like, you know, eating a delicious little tiny morsel. Go look it up somewhere. Actually, it's probably in here what it means. I guarantee you it's on our website what it means. But it's M-O-R-S-E-L. M-O-R-S-E-L. That's M-O-R-S-E-L. Ladies and gentlemen, that's M-O-R-S-E-L. M-O-R-S-E-L. A-T-L dot com. M-O-R-S-E-L. A-T-L dot com. Hang it up. Is that the cutest little phone? It's called a cutie phone. I have a phone fetish. I collect phones. Yes, landline phones. And some of you are going, Beth, you're past your time. One day I'm going to be rich. And it's going to be because I have so many phones. And I can sell them because nobody else wants them. Just me. Just me. Okay, y'all have to understand that for a moment, I've got to stop. And I've got to take a picture of something that y'all will not believe how cute it is. And I'm going to show you how cute it is. My babies are over there in the window seat. Let me show it to you. You're not going to believe it. How many people take a picture and then turn right around and show it to you on YouTube? I bet nobody. Is that? Wait. You're not going to be able to see it that good. How about that? Okay, it's going to take a minute to focus. But that is my little doggies. Let me make sure I can make this cancel out. Let me put a bunch of stuff up. It's the only way to make it cancel out. Can you see them? They're right there in the window seat. They're together and taking a nap. Together. They never do that. Usually always playing and knocking each other down, but that's what I love about it, is they get to have time with each other. But anyway, what was I talking about? Morsel Atlanta. M-O-R-S-E-L-A-T-L dot com. Go check it out. What it is is a newsletter. It's a uh, subscription that you can order. So cheap. It's only $5. It's a monthly digest about uh, restaurants. Now, some of these are just in Atlanta, Georgia. So take yourself a vacation and come here and eat at one of these restaurants. And you think, uh, I'm not going to use my vacation time to travel to come eat at one restaurant. When you go out of town, what do you do? You get a hotel and you go out to eat. There's plenty of things to do in Atlanta, especially right now at Christmas time. Downtown, oh my gosh, they've got that Ferris wheel thing, and they've got um, 
Centennial Park and they've got, oh my gosh, go to the Georgia Aquarium and look at the whales. They're huge. The whale sharks, I mean. It's amazing. The whole everything. I love the jellyfish tank the best, actually. And the tropical fish wall. Anyway, there's that. There's um, World of Coke. There is so many things. But when you're here, if you want to know where to eat, you go to morselatlanta.com. Now, Atlanta's really ATL. That's our description for, I think, the airlines. <laughs> and also, just when people abbreviate, it's the ATL. You know? So it's morselatl.com. Um, but anyway, you can go and get a subscription. I get this snail mail. Cheese! And it just describes everything about a restaurant. And it's like, let's see. Let me just go to one. Grain. There's a lot of fun packed into this small space. Cocktails on tap, including an old-fashioned weekdays, $1 oysters from 3 to 6, and a quaint patio. If you live in Midtown, this could be your neighborhood spot. If you're outside of 30308 zip codes, make a trip to check this place out ASAP. There's a cocktail, beer, or wine for everyone and a clever snack menu. If you and a crew are lucky enough to be there in time for live music, enjoy the last month of patio weather and sit outside so you can enjoy the tunes but hear yourself speak. Helpful tip, parking is a trick. There is a street parking and a few public decks within walking distance. Be sure to use the exact GPS location on West Peace Street if you're navigating there. Y'all, do you realize in this review, she told you everything from what's the, the food snacks, what's the cocktails, what's the weekday uh, snack for a dollar, where you should sit, where you should park, that they have live music. Um, then there's one over here called St. Cecilia. The holiday season means an inevitable trip to the mall. And the thought of sitting in traffic and fighting crowds all to shop for other people is so daunting that it merits a nice dinner to round out the day. Located just across from Lenox Mall in Phipps Plaza. That's a great place to go. It's St. Cecilia's. Feel free. Feels like a swank New York restaurant and is the perfect spot to shrug off shopping stress. The bar is huge. Inn is more adequately accommodate you for your solo dinner or meeting of friends. The crudo, crudo is crudo is a must if you love seafood, and if you prefer it raw, the agnolati is like a hug from a pasta pouch. Y'all, it's this helpful tip Uber here for date night or valley if you're driving in the area. And then she gives a little picture in here of a hug from a pasta pouch. Look at that. I want a hug from a pasta pouch. I'm going to St. Cecilia's. Anyway, not all of these people are exclusive to Atlanta only. There are some that are chains, I'm sure. I don't know. Ask Hillary. That's who makes them. Makes these. And also, if you don't do that, then please, please do go do that. But if you don't, go to uh, Instagram. Where's my Instagram? And look up Morsel ATL. M O R S E L A T L. And it's got a big M. See the M? Can you see that? I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. See the M? That's what it'll look like. And go follow her and go and like her first post and say, liking on behalf of Beth Buchanan, I'm her subby. And let her know that you are doing this because you're one of my subbies. I really want to support women who start their own deal, right? So please go do it. I think you will love it. Her pictures are incredible. Even if you don't live here, she almost looks like she has a professional stylist for her pictures, y'all. I mean, they are just incredible. If nothing else, they give me ideas how to style food because she takes pictures of these restaurants, how they style food. And she takes a, a lot of pictures of other things. So just, anyway, you know, obviously these things. But um, she's just got a lot of cute posts. So go and follow her on Instagram. So why am I on here today? Well, I'm fixing to do a plan with me because it's coming up on the weekend. And you guys, I got the cutest stickers you've ever seen. And this low light, I don't know if you'll be able to see them. But is that the cutest? Okay, yes, notice that it's two packs of the same one because I love them that much. Look at this little truck with a Christmas tree in the back. More importantly, look at the fox. Where's the fox? I know there's a fox in here. Oh, my finger was over it. Look at this little fox right down there. Is he the cutest? Right at the very bottom, right there. And sweater, this is just one of the cutest. So I've got to make this work with my plan with me for either this week or next week. I'm so excited to do it. So that's one thing. Be looking out for my plan with me. 
And also, I'd just like to say something else. I remember I did a What's in My Purse with this Fry purse. And y'all have heard of Fry boots, I'm sure. But the leather is phenomenal. And it's just, it's very wearable. This feels like a saddle for a horse, you guys. More than anything, it just smells like good leather. And I've had this for weeks now, and it still smells that way. I absolutely love it. If you're looking for a Christmas gift and someone says, hey, what would you like for Christmas? I would tell you, I got this one at, at uh, Dillard's, but you could go online and look at Fry. Um, there was another one that was similar to this, only it was a little taller, and it had a shoulder um, hand strap. I wanted the shorter, because I like getting it in there easier, and a shoulder strap. Why in the world is a pair of socks in my purse? Don't know. Okay, um, what was I going to show you guys? I don't remember. See, I'm not that YouTuber. Um, oh, it was another Christmas idea, and it, this is just a short, sweet one. You know how I always have a medi, medi pouch, my medical pouch? Guys, make one from one of your best friends. And just put every in, everything in it that you know she loves, plus true medical stuff. So, go ahead and put in a couple of band-aids, some alcohol wipes, Maybe um, get those individually packed, um, like I have the Aleve and the ibuprofen and the allergy pills. Um, maybe some cough drops. I have a breather in here, obviously you can't get that. Maybe some eye drops, like blink eye drops that just help re-wet your eyes if your eyes get dry. Some Altoids just so you have a, a breath mint in there. I put in my Sweet and Lows, you might put in a sugar pack for someone. But, and just put it in a cute little pouch and let that be for their handbag. Would that be a cute little gift? I think it would. I think if, if I didn't already have this, if somebody gave me that for a gift, I think that would be so cute. Or maybe give them one Give them one with um, for their electronics. And maybe if you know their phone brand or whatever, get them a plug of some kind. And put it in a really cute pouch. Anyway, bye!